that's what some ginger and ginger crime. Because <laughs> <laughs> whilst we're pale and not transparent, you won't be able to see through us to this side. <laughs> Nearly. Right. We're going to work on some face hugger drills. So we're going to work off the fence here. Now bear in mind that if there's a multiple attacker scenario, I won't just borrow you. It's just down there. If me and him are having the main argument, but he could be a hanger on, he could be a friend, could just be a random dickhead at the bar, I will have to maintain some degree of visibility of everybody. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Old samurai trick, by the way, of extending your field of vision is give yourself a double chin. When you give yourself a double chin, you can actually see much further. When you tuck your chin in, you can see much wider. If you're like, where is he? I can't see him now, I can't see him. This is an interesting little trick. Anyway, when you've got your fence, and you've got your hands out and you're talking, I might not be able to look at him to do the technique on him. So if you just move away so they can see, that's what I might need to engage multiple people and be aware of multiple data points. So the face hugger drill is this. The hand that has some tactile contact on him is just going to turn into the face hugger from Aliens. And I'm going to impregnate him in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so from here, we're talking, we're talking. If I'm not going to have good visuals on him, Hitting him, I might fuck it up. I might hit him in the wrong place. I might fuck my hand up or just pick a bad target. So we're here, I'm trying to de-escalate, trying to engage, but I know I'm going to do him first. So what we're going to do, we're just going to face hug at him instinctively. We're just going to ride up his face, like so. And then we're going to use that to do more ballistic techniques. This won't end him. We need to go from this. If you imagine it like a jab cross, jab, I need to do something else. So there's a couple I want you to do. First one, hold a magical grapefruit, and give him one of his five a day. Fucking eat the grapefruit, smash him up. Chin jab, right under his jaw. So from here, you ride it up, grab a lump of face, step in, make him eat that grapefruit. Bang, from here. Second, again, try and look around. Try and do this drill while you're talking. Yes, mate, oh, from here. Second, you can throat punch it if you want. Again, higher level of force. Or you can use your PPP, your personal piece of pipe. Your inner forearm is fucking hard, and you carry it with you every day. Yeah. So we're here with de-escalating. You can fuck off, and you can fuck off, and you especially can fuck off. You understand? Because having this tactile contact now, gripping a bit of eyeball, grabbing a bit of mush, means that I can direct my violence towards the man. Even if, if I can just borrow you. Even if I've got a split fence, so you're both gobbing off. You're both gobbing off. I'm looking at you, but bam, I'm having him. Because of this contact, I could snake up and face hugger him. Mm. Make sure you're not limp. Don't be placid on his face. Swish your face enough. As soon as you're here, grab a proper lump of face, lump of nose, lump of bone. This is not the end. This is the means. As soon as I've got this, bang, whatever the fuck you want to do. It's got to be ballistic. Only ballistic shots put people out. Make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. So I want you, just in your pairs, try to look around them. Imagine you're de-escalating. You know, there's copper over there. Got ugly looking mates coming here, they're coming to me. Like, your mates can fuck off. Bang. And then I could deal with the mates. But it's a really good way of getting a preemptive shot because I can make him think I'm talking like that. Now, you can never be too blase about it. So, whilst I'm talking, I'm demonstrating my chin's up. In reality, if I'm looking at other people, my chin is still down because at any one point you can go. So, bear in mind that when I'm talking, I'm up here so you can hear me. When it's with him, my chin's going to be a bit down, it's going to be a bit hard if he does decide to lash out. And even if he does, I'm immediately just in his grill. And then, bang, fire the shot. So the three shots, right up in his face, chin jab, right up in his face, throat punch, right up in his face, PPP, bang. Great way to use the PPP. Imagine, it's the Bunkai Bash, pieces of eight, you're on a big fucking pirate ship. So you're rolling the pirate ship down. You're not coming in, Boom! You are Limp Biscuit rolling circa 1999. <laughs> rolling into his neck. You don't get that reference. Fuck you. <laughs> Important thing. Try and also do this blood. Eyes closed as well. Get used to. I've got some sensitivity because I might be speaking to these guys or these guys or these guys. I need to be able to face hugger from that content. Make sense? Yep, yep, yep. Here we go.